Thanks to the generosity of friends across the country, the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation has supported more than 11,000 projects to protect and defend our natural treasures. With partners from both the public and private sectors, we work to save endangered species, restore critical habitat for wildlife, and preserve migration corridors and open spaces. Our target areas range from remote wilderness to the heart of our biggest cities. Here in New York, we're helping reduce water pollution, save native plants and wildlife, and teach city kids about their environment. Unlike the conservation that most people think of, which is wilderness areas, mountain ranges, oceans, urban conservation uh, is taking care of the natural places that exist right in our cities. In the heart of the South Bronx, the foundation supports rocking the boat. The foundation invests in hundreds of projects that address our biggest environmental challenges. This one is special because it's an investment in the next generation. We're helping students understand the importance of conservation. Here, they get to work side by side with top scientists from NOAA and the University of Connecticut, learning about the environment right in their own community. This on the water education program Part of the Foundation's Long Island Sound Futures Fund is both a learning experience and an opportunity to care for the natural world around them. The first time I heard about the Bronx River, I was like, what? It exists? We have a river in the Bronx. I had no idea. It's just a really great feeling to know that you're making a difference, you're making an impact. This summer, the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation helped Rocking the Boat install a platform anchored in the Bronx River. Students are growing mussels and seaweed on ropes attached to the raft to see how they filter pollution from the water. These experiences are life-changing. Whatever path these young people choose, that commitment to conservation will stay with them forever. Just 20 miles away, off Greenwich, Connecticut, the Foundation is working with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service on Calf Island, where invasive plants are crowding out native species. It takes over the habitat of plants like this sumac. It's a really good plant for birds that come through in the fall. They stop on these islands, they eat up on sumac, and then they head out down south so they don't get cold. This is their land, and so we have to tell them why it's important to protect it. If we don't, then, you know, who knows who will protect it in future generations. In densely populated urban areas, the foundation is working to make sure there's a place for birds and wildlife too. You have millions of birds traveling these coastal routes back and forth. Because Long Island Sound is home to hundreds of species of birds, protecting the salt marshes that provide food and habitat is vital. They use these big salt marshes as supermarkets. They're very productive areas. A project by Acres for America, supported by the Foundation and Walmart, is restoring the islands that have been lost to erosion in Jamaica Bay. A lot of, not only the birds, but many of the fish we like to eat uh, spend part of their life cycle in these marshes. This is the largest municipal green roof in the country, and it's uh, 50,000 square feet. On New York City's Randall's Island, the foundation was behind a landmark project that turned a rooftop into a garden. Strawberries are doing really well. All just uh, steps from the toll plaza to the RFK bridge here. A garden that absorbs rain and keeps storm waters out of the East River. And we used a lightweight uh, polystyrene soil called uh, Gaia soil to really absorb as much rainwater as possible. And the results here are quite successful. It captures on average quarter million gallons each year. The two National Fish and Wildlife Foundation projects have inspired the city's Parks Department to install 10 new green roofs throughout the city. To have that in the most urban of conditions is certainly reassuring. Here on the East Coast and across the country, the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation is working to restore a natural world to the way it vibrantly looked and sounded and felt 100 years ago. By being here tonight, you make our shared vision a reality. And together, you and I are making a dent. We are proud to have directly invested more than $2 billion in conservation. We are grateful for your help in continuing our innovative work and in letting nature be herself. Thanks so much, and I hope you enjoy the fall color as much as I do.